Well, hello there. It's been a while. Been a little busy, so uh, let's do a video real quick here once. All right, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I had to actually do uh, about 200 feet of French drain drain tile on my house because my backyard floods like any little bit of rain just floods right out biblical but uh, during that time I uh, found a reason to use my 3d printer because I need an excuse to use 3d printers uh, in a practical way because that's what I do so at any rate I uh, what I did is then I, I installed these InstaFlow, uh, basically gutter attachments. So they go to the end of your gutters on your house or wherever you have them on outbuildings or whatever to direct the flow instead of just shooting out of the gutter and going on to the grass or wherever on your lawn. Uh, you can put them into drain tile. So all the gutters I have on the house now go into a tile system and go out uh, away from the foundation. So they're called InvisiFlow Flex Grate. Uh, they have a small grate in front of it so when the water comes down off the gutter if there's anything that could clog up the uh, drain tile system that gets stuck on top and then water passes through. The problem is is they have an open face in the front. So what I had done is um, designed up in Tinkercad a series of attachments that can go on the front and it redirects that water back down and doesn't splash out the front. So let's go into Tinkercad here quick. Alright, so I just uh, I had just designed this into Tinkercad because it's just way easier to do. Uh, for me I had the base set up. What I did originally is I took this design and this middle portion with the window I actually had that solid so it was real simple to just fix up in Tinkercad but what I've done since then is I created this inset hole here you can see it with the gray portion this just slips into it uh, here so once you group these two together group that up this just inserts into here and creates a nice little little door essentially that slides in and out like that so then you can open it up to clear out debris then you can slide it back in right so very simple it's just a series of cuts um, and triangles and stuff until you you know tinker it together so it's not very complex at all I just put two holes in and and use uh, sheet metal screws into the side of the invisible level flex grate the only problem with this design then is printing it so the only way I really found to print it very well um, that works is I actually orientate it in this direction and then I put in supports specifically on this and this so I leave this middle portion open that seems to print off well enough so I printed them off in PETG as well um, gives it a little bit more um, durability in an outdoor environment it seems to work well enough haven't had really any issues with it uh, yet there is still some leakage around uh, the portion that goes into the hole of the InvisiFlow flex rate but drastically reduces how much water actually um, ejects out of that hole instead of um, getting orientated down in the drain tile. The door works well enough to pull out and grab anything that's inside so it seems to work pretty well. So I hope this inspires you a little bit. I know it's not really outdoor related but uh, I think it's always valuable to look at something that almost works and then try and make it work specifically for you. If there's a design that gets you about 75 percent there there's no reason why you can't modify it to make it that next 25 and get it to exactly what you want. So hopefully uh, this makes you go out, get in your makerspace, wherever that might be, your bedroom with a 3D printer or a workshop with a metal lathe. Either way, get out there, have some fun, modify some things around you to make them work just the way you want it, and keep your amps up and your filament dry. I'll be